Uh, happy October. It has begun to be the best time of the year. Can't wait until it actually gets cooler though. It's still pretty hot. Um, so, I had something really awesome happen. What night was it? I'm not sure which night it was. It was a few nights ago. And I... I got my mojo back. I guess I guess that's how I'll put it. I've been kind of in a slump for quite a while. And I don't it's something it was the most emotional spiritual thing that's ever happened to me. Um I was just basically cleaning, like physically cleaning and spiritually cleaning my room and my space. And just this energy came over me and I sat down and I was about to do I think it was a reading like a tarot reading on I don't even know what I was doing before this thing happened it was just amazing but this energy came over me and it was such a strong and I knew it was goddess I didn't know what goddess it was I just it was just goddess energy and I started crying and calling out to to goddess and I just I put my hand out and I felt <laughs> like I, this was the most this is the crazy this is like probably one of the craziest things that ever happened to me <laughs> but she appeared to me and said you're my child I don't know which goddess it was but she had red hair and a blue dress like it was long red hair and a blue hooded cape dress thing on like a um a cloak i guess you could say it was unlike anything else any other energy that i've ever felt i've worked have worked with a couple other goddesses before very closely and for a long time and I have never ever had one come to me in that way ever it was like with I've worked with two other goddesses um the first one was whenever I um first got into the craft and it was Ellen of the Ways I meditated and she came to me in a meditation and then the second goddess it still kind of hurts a little, I guess you could say, because we kind of went separate ways um, a little while ago, about a month ago, or two months ago, um, was Hecate. And I worked with her like it was, she was like the step up above, like, I don't even know how to explain it. It was like she come into my life at like the perfect time and taught me a lot. Like I can't even... You can't put a price on the things that you're taught. And her last lesson to me was to, you know, stand on my own two feet. And I have. It's been a... I mean, I always have, but it's been a harder lesson to learn. Or a harder mental lesson, really. It's... I mean, I know I can do it, but... I gotta tell my brain that sometimes, you know. <laughs> but I still miss Hecate, very much so, but we I, I still honor her and think of her and leave her at little offerings and whatnot but we did go separate ways uh but i don't know who this i don't know who this um new goddess is i i, I didn't know like whenever i first got into the craft i thought like i would work with ellen of the ways and that was it you know, that was my goddess forever, you know, I was, I was an idiot. <laughs> um, I'm, and I don't like, I know some people use the term like goddess hop or deity hop or something. I don't do that. It's just, they come into my life and teach me certain lessons that only that energy and that archetype can teach me. And then they, you know, they make their exit. And... 
I'm about to go through a whole nother whirlwind with another lesson and more teaching with this new goddess. I don't know if you, any of you have any ideas of who it might be. I'm very appreciative if you would give me maybe a tip or of the description is very vague because I know there's quite a few redheaded goddesses. But it was the energy of her was very, very much so mothering and loving, which I haven't had with deity yet. Like Ellen was more, she was very, you know, just there. Like she was like I knew she was there, and she didn't really intervene a whole lot. Hecate was extremely intense, and she, she came into my life and stirred shit up. Like you knew she was there, and she was, you know. People who have worked with Hecate know exactly what kind of energy I'm talking about. You know she's there. And she ain't here to play. <laughs> um, but this new energy that has stepped in is very different. And it's comforting in a way to... <sighs> oh, I'm in this... My lunchtime graveyard again. Sky over there on a tractor. It's kind of annoying because I was watching... Um, actually, the interview with uh, that witchy bear and Lady Grave Dancer did a couple days ago. I really enjoyed that. Um, but that's all I had to say for now. And have I already said Happy October? Yeah, I have. I don't remember things very well. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'll see you guys later. Bye.